types of the variations there are two major types of the variations one is called as discontinuous variation and second one is called as continuous variation we will describe one by one both of these what is discontinuous variation discontinuous variation is entirely controlled by the genetic makeup or by the genes of that species or that organism these kind of the variations they cannot be changed by external factors the example would be the blood group color blindness and the dwarfism in humans so these are the variations which are purely controlled by the genetic makeup or by the genes of that organism or of, of that species they cannot be controlled uh, by the environmental factors if we see the graph for discontinuous variation because this kind of variation is purely controlled by the genes so there is not a we cannot see a smooth curve in this kind of the variation here is the example of the blood group in a particular population where we can see that the ab blood group is 3% while blood group a is 42% blood group o is 46% while the blood group b is 9% so if we try to make a smooth curve or try to fit it into a smooth curve a smooth curve cannot be get by the discontinuous variations because these kind of variations they are purely controlled by the genetic makeup while in case of continuous variation continuous variation described a situation in which there are many intermediates between two extremes like we see the shade of the colors we see uh, on one hand black and on the other hand there is a golden color but there are many different shades between these two extremes on one hand black while on the other hand there is brown color here is the example of hair color that is example of the continuous variation we can see different children they have different hair colors some of them they have red color some of them they have uh, black color hairs while some of them they have curly and there are some intermediates between black color as well as brown color in case of uh, discontinuous where in the in case of continuous variation Uh, there are multiple genes those multiple genes control the traits like in case of the example of human hair color there are four different genes these genes they control the variation in the color of the humans continuous variation occur when they when this type of the vari variation is controlled by genes as well as by the environment so they jointly control the continuous variation like the example is of the height if we try to make the graph of the continuous variation we can fit all the figures into a smooth curve because there are several intermediates between two extremes this is one extreme this is second extreme if we try to make a graph we can make a smooth graph because there are many intermediates between two extremes the comparison between two types on one hand there is a continuous variation while on the other hand there is a discontinuous variation in case of continuous variation there is no distinct categories while in case of discontinuous variation there are distinct categories a continuous variation can be quantitative in nature while a discontinuous variation can be qualitative in nature continuous variation is controlled by a lot of genes while discontinuous variation is controlled by fewer number of genes 
continuous variation is strongly influenced by the environment while discontinuous uh, variation is not affected by the environment if we conclude the types of variation uh, variation can be of two types continuous variation and discontinuous variation